The reception facility at the Wally Water Taxi Pier on Nevis is near completion, said Premier Mark Brantley, and attention is being paid to provide safe parking. Premier Brantley was speaking on his recent talk show on the mark when he indicated his hope for the facility to be available in time for Nevis's cultural festivities. An update on the parking facility was also provided. We are hopeful that that facility will be open for Culturama and available for Culturama. We had hoped to have it available for Music Fest, but unfortunately we're not going to make Music Fest, but certainly we hope for Culturama. If you're in that Uali water taxi area, you'll see some work that's going on. We have purchased just over nine acres of land from the Yarwood family. Again, we thank them for stepping up and allowing us to purchase that land from them. We are, have cleared out a portion of land, that land for parking. I believe Nevlek should have been there to install lighting so that people have a safe environment uh, to park their cars as they go over to St. Kitts for the music festival and for people who are traveling back and forth. We intend once that parking lot is finished to move the traffic off the road entirely to say to people that you cannot park on the sides of the road unless of course you're dropping off or picking up quickly but we don't expect as happens now that people will park up and go away for two days or three days as the case may be on the side of the road or even go away for the day uh, so we're trying to improve slowly we, it's going to be important for us that safety over there at the early water tax at the early water taxi pier that's going to be paramount and so we expect to have that done shortly However, the Premier chided the opposition party on Nevis, whom he said has been criticizing the parking project over the use of land by some boaters. Yes, there were a few boats that were there. In fact, I will go on record tonight and say some of them appear to have been abandoned. When we came to purchase the land from the Yarwoods, we were told by them that they had not heard from some of the boat owners for some time. We have had some real difficulty in locating some of the boat owners. To the point where eventually what we did was we push the boats to the back, the far back of the land because the land slopes to the back. We've tried to do that and we have then leveled off the front area so that we can have some parking. It is not as some people are trying to portray it as some war or battle or effort on the part of the government to in any way frustrate our boaters. That is not the intention. But all of us recognize that there was a need for parking at the water taxi facility. And the only way we can provide parking is for the government to acquire land and to utilize that land for parking. The government has never had a boatyard. The Yarwoods rented lands to people to store their boats. And some people stored their boats there. In fact, it appears that some abandoned their boats there. We have come along and the Yahoo's have said this is the land that they have available. It is directly across from the water taxi pier and so we have utilized that land. Now if there are people with ideas who can come forward and say, well, why don't we sit down and see how we can work out so that we have something for the boaters as well. We are open to that. According to Brantley, the negativity from opposition sources is also heard for other development projects on the island. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.